Jordan Simavona, and my character is Jordan Thorne. So my name is Marigan Solomon, and I play the character of Candace Thorne. My name is Zach Abramowitz, and I am a producer on Nightwing Escalation, and I also play one of the lead characters, Antoine Rotelli. He's trying to find a serum for his, uh, for this rare disease that he has, and um, he's also teaming up with Ver, uh, you know, a few of the other Denzines of, of Gotham City. Uh, she is involved in the mob family and is looking to, through whatever subversive means necessary, take over the mob and the streets of Gotham. Antoine Rotelli is a rising mob figure in Gotham City and he's involved with all the supervillains and trying to gain territory and going against all the good in Gotham. He's, he's trying to how did I become involved with Nightwing Escalation? I became involved in the series in probably an actor or actress's dream way. I actually had come to the studio for an audition for a different role, for a different show, and was picked out of the hallway and asked if I wouldn't mind reading for the part. I had worked on a film with Alex, and about a month later, he uh, uh, presented the opportunity to play um, a you know, major Batman villain and it's been one of my uh, big fantasies to play a, to play a Batman villain in, in any capacity, so I you know, jumped at the chance. When I saw my friend Abe Dance get cast as Batman in the show, and that was pretty cool to me because I had Abe act as Batman in my short documentary, The Dark Knight Tribute. So when I knew that Abe was playing Batman in an escalation, I, as an actor, I simply reached out to Alex. What attracts me to my character? Um, I think Candace is a poker player. Um, she has a lot of cards up her sleeve, she doesn't want to have any tells given out there. She's really working to see how the other players are functioning and then how she can manipulate them and use them to become the head of the Mafia family. It's like playing somebody with a you know, level of power, um, just uh, you know, also a uh, level of danger. And uh, I, I, I just have always been really fascinated with the, with the Mafia lifestyle. and. Um, you know, uh, movies like The Godfather and, and Goodfellas, I, I think, have, have a, you know, even, even Shakespeare, a major influence on this uh, character. Antoine Rotelli is willing to do anything to rise to the top. And so far in the series, he's made some moves. And I don't want to spoil too much, but there are a few more moves coming where Rotelli will uproot anything that's in his way. You know, I see the series going. Um, shoot, I hope it, I hope it, I, you know, you know, I uh, don't don't like to talk too much in the future, but but I hope it lasts for a while. I mean, uh, it's it's just a great concept, and I and I and I really see this uh, really see this going places. The direction the series is going to go in is an interesting question. Um, as I said, I don't know a lot about the comic series, so it's very exciting and interesting for me to see how it unfolds in the mind of Alex and the um, other writers and directors that are involved with this. Uh, I hope that it continues on in a line of more character development and really fleshing out these plot lines because from the past three episodes what we've seen is a lot of great actors and a lot of interesting stories and teasers and tantalizing bits. So I hope those get fully developed in the next few episodes. It's that Alex being so passionate about the comics and the characters and being such a good storyteller is really focused on the character relationships here. So in the first few episodes the, the, the action is a little slow which is fine because we want to build up the story behind all these people so that when there is action in the show you actually care about it and I know that you know the audiences of today are a little spoiled they want everything now they want everything fast it has to be delivered right this <laughs> it has to be delivered right this instant or they're not a fan or it's boring or it's slow but I'm sure a lot of people have been saying watching it donating money um, you know, I, I think that's really the only way anything can, uh, can progress. There are two very big ways I think that people can help out with it. Um, one, we are looking for funds to help um, further our project, and a great way to donate would be through Indiegogo.com. We have a campaign going there. Um, and another way would just be to follow the series. The more excitement that's generated and built by people who are viewing the episodes and getting involved with the characters, the more motivation it gives us to just bring a better and better um, series for folks. Where can people uh, find out about myself? I'm uh, registered on IMDb. I also have a uh, 
website, www.vincentjohnmagona.com.